hello everyone uh, it's Anne here welcome to my studio welcome to my channel on uh, today I have something a little different to share with you I wanted to share with you my recent art book uh, supply haul that I had done on eBay and as it turns out <coughs> I, w I hadn't ha been able to film this video because I had lost my voice, as you may already know from if you've watched my other uh, videos that I've done around the same time. Um, but uh, I felt like today I, w I was doing better with my voice. And as, as things would have it, um, my son and I this morning went to the local Catholic church here in our town. Yes, we went to church. <laughs> And uh, we went there because they were having their annual garage sale. And they, they, like I said, it's an annual thing. And it, uh, it all goes to charity because the, the money they, uh, they collect is to help a lot of people in the community. So uh, it's, it's a good thing. And it's very, very, very inexpensive. Uh, the deals that we get there every year is phenomenal. So um, my son and I went to look to see what we could find. Um, his intention was to look for books. He didn't do so well this year. They didn't have a lot of books. I'm the one who did well with the art books, actually, with art books specifically. So I just thought I would combine both hauls together. So first, I will show you what I got on eBay. I got a collection of Walter Foster how to draw books, how to paint. Uh, these are very old books and they're very, they're very good instructional books on drawing and painting methods. These are, they're, yes, they're old. I used to have a lot more of, I used to have like a really huge collection of these books, but unfortunately in a flood that we went through a few years ago, I lost uh, most of my books, so most of my uh, art related books. So um, I've been trying to find some of these again because I really enjoyed them in the past and I just you know wanted to get them and now these are, are almost collector's items they are hard to find uh, the, the series does continue there is a modern version of a lot of these books and they're they're not cheap and as you can see I have several of them uh, but I was able to buy this lot off of eBay and it was just someone who was probably getting rid of them and excuse me uh, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got these 10 books. I think they came from the US. I paid for the shipping and everything. And I think I paid a total of like maybe under $30 Canadian uh, for all of these because of the exchange rate. It was 20 something um, and then the exchange rate. So I, yeah, it, was, it wasn't quite $30 Canadian. So uh, this is great. I, I'm really happy. It's worth it for me. So the one I, uh, the ones that came in the lot, and I was really drawn to this lot was because there was the How to Draw Cats. This is a volume I never had, so I'm super happy to have it now. How to Draw Our Little Furry Friends. So it's about drawing animals and fur, and there's more. I think. There's a lot of inspiration in here, and there's instruction. There's a little bit of instruction, but uh, I've always liked these books. How to Draw Cats and Kittens. So you know I am an animal lover, especially of kitty cats, so uh, this is fun. This is a replacement for one of the books I did have. This is How to Draw and Paint Seascapes, but it's the French version, which is quite, oh, actually, I'm so sorry. This is not from, eBay. These are, these I got at Value Village once. How to draw and paint seascapes, how to do still life, because these two are in French. That's correct. But I don't mind. Um, I, as you may already know, I'm, I'm able to read French. Um, continuing with my eBay. So I actually got the eight, eight volumes from off of eBay. 
I got also painting with oil pastels. I got uh, Robert, how Robert Wood paints landscapes and seascapes. So 40 fine prints to paint from. So uh, these are mostly inspirational based on this artist's work. <clears throat> And there's a lot of details of how this painting kept together. So, yeah. It's a lot of... It's a variety of, of books for a variety of techniques and styles. And this one is painting with oil pastels. This one, not my favorite, but it was in the lot. And this one is clowns and characters, but... Um, I'm, the clowns don't interest me, but the characters do. The I like, you know, this one talks about color uh, mixing for the skin, and so I, I, I really like that. Um, this one is called Creative Painting by Leonor Sherman. So, I have that. Um, this one is the new edition, How to Draw by Walter Foster. And it butterflies, flowers, trees, shrubs, boats, animals, birds, landscapes, still life, heads, hands, and lettering. Whew, there's a lot in here. So a lot of instruction uh, and examples of how to draw all those things I listed. And so a little bit of technique and... So they're just um, a lot of great books to help you practice drawing. So as you can see, um, the, you know, this is from, can I show you the date on these books? They're quite old. I don't remember exactly when these were made. These were definitely from the, maybe the 70s even, maybe some from the 60s, I'm not sure. Yeah, they're, they've been around, and um, they used to, well, they used to, all, these are all the books that were available then, and I know that a lot of these have been remade into modern versions, and let's see here, oh, here's some color pictures of the other titles that were available to order. I hope you can see that. I'll be different types of books that work in the series. So, they're all about drawing and painting. So today at the uh, church garage sale, as I said, my son and I uh, went and I lucked out. I really lucked out on a pile of uh, art books. So first, I want to show you the other similar to the ones I just showed you on eBay, a whole bunch of these how-to books, a lot of them from the same Walter Foster line. And some are very old and some are, new, are more modern. So I got this uh, is again in the Walter Foster collection. I found this today, Painting Sunsets by Violet Parkhurst. And so there's all these beautiful paintings of sunsets and in different um, venues. So, and miraculously, or not miraculously, but uh, I lucked out, I did not get a single double of the books I already have, so I'm very happy about that. Painting sunsets. This one is The Magic of Oil Painting, and it's a pretty thick one, by W. Alexander. It's all about oil painting. So again, there's a lot of inspiration in this one. And it's fun to see all the like old colors that were used and old styles. Uh, Still Life is Exciting by Nan Grecian. So, and this one shows uh, examples of color wheels and 
color theory. There's talk about color theory, a little bit of color theory in here, a little bit of composition, and about mostly drawing and painting um, still life or inanimate objects. Uh, here, here there's instructions on light source, which is very important. And now this is the more modern version. And oh, I have a couple more of the uh, older original Walter Fosters. I got this one, Painting Water and Weather by Charles L. Cochran. So, so you have um, how to, you know, how to paint fog or mist. Here we have, you know, the snowy landscape. Uh, water, waves, water, ocean, again, a rough sea, um, there's, we have a brook or a river, babbling brook type of thing, uh, you know, the atmosphere above the mountains with the clouds and you know, the cold air, how that could be represented in painting. Here's a ship in fog and all in sepia so to show, you know, how it's done. Another ship in fog, but uh, this one is done in a different technique. So it's a, a lot of technique in here. And, you know, painting, uh, painting like wind and water are quite challenging. So uh, this is a good book to have. Um, also, technique and textures, landscapes. Seascape in Acrylics by Maurice Harvey. <clears throat> so, yeah, exactly what it says. It's about landscapes and seascapes. A lot of, a lot of, tra this is all a lot of traditional style drawing and painting. And this one is how to paint rocks and surf. So, obviously this person uh, really likes landscape and nature. So, and then we have some more modern uh, versions of the Walter Foster book. And funny thing is I found in one of these books a receipt from Michaels that when these books were bought in 2007. And in 2007, these books were about $10.95 each, just to give you an idea of the value. And this one is uh, Trees Learn to Draw Step by Step with William F. Powell. So these are the more the newer versions of the Walter Foster books. And you can see inside they're most they're more black and white. They did away with all the pretty colors. But this one is drawing, so you don't really need color in this one. And so it's all about drawing trees. Oh here, here's the Michaels receipt from 2007. Yeah. Oh. These these weren't at Michael's in 2007. I can tell you that. So this one, uh, another. I'm going to show you the Walter Foster ones first. I got horses, acrylic painting, horses. This one has color. And it tells you which colors are used, how to blend them how to develop texture, you know, for the horse's fur, working with white, you know, it's, not, it's tricky to work with white. We have a white horse in the white snow. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a challenge to uh, replicate that. Depicting depth and distance. Uh, there's like lots and lots of techniques. Another one on still lives. Let me see. It'll be interesting to see the difference between this and the older versions. If the images inside are a little bit more modern. Yeah, a little bit more modern. But the techniques still remain the same. And this is about composition, practicing different techniques. There's a lot of technique in this book. Practicing technique, understanding color theory. This is really good. Um, this is really important to know. And selecting tools and materials. So there's a lot of information and these are great books. Um, and this one is a watercolor, Chinese brush. So Chinese brush painting with watercolors. So 
the techniques again. Lots and lots of examples. Um, how to form, how to use your brush to form these these brush strokes to get these effects. Oh, a Siamese cat. Yay, a kitty. So, lots and lots of wonderful ideas. <clears throat> now, this one is also a Walter Foster. This, I, well, I think this one is from a line that came before this line. I'm not sure because it's a little different, but it is a Walter Foster. And this one came from Wallace. Uh, believe it or not, and it was originally ten dollars. Um, yeah, it's it's not new. <laughs> so this one is about heads, how to draw and paint heads. So same same. You can see that they're the same style as all the other books, um, even though they've. This is the modern version, but the idea is the same. Lots of examples, lots of techniques explained to you the how-to's this is very Walter Foster style from uh, way the original style they've maintained that in this book which is fun to see and finally this one is a workbooks for painting so that uh, this one is by Barron's and this one probably was a deal at $4.99 I don't know where this came from but um, <clears throat> this one is about nudes so um, well, I don't want to offend anyone here but um, you know it's about drawing like the body and um, yeah about drawing nude bodies so I don't, I don't want to disturb anyone with the images so I won't show that um, then so if that wasn't enough and you're going to you be wondering, like, how much did I pay for all these books? All the books I'm showing you, okay, except from the ones I showed you from eBay, with other stuff that I bought and some, some uh, really, another big book for my son, like a huge, huge book for my son, uh, was $8. <laughs> it's ridiculous. That's what they wanted. You could, you could fill a bag. You could fill a bag for two bucks. And we had one of those really big bags, you know, those green bags uh, that I use for like dollar store hauls with the handles. And I, I came up to the lady and I said, you got to charge me more than two bucks. I've got, we've got so many books in here and it was so heavy. And, and I said, well, I also want this other, this box here that was like had yarn and needle craft stuff. And she said, oh, it's eight dollars. Okay. I'm like, yeah, sure. I almost told her to keep the change on my 20. I thought it was such a good deal. Um, so, but then I, I had the exact change. I had change and she needed change. So I gave her my change. I gave her the $8 and the change I had. So I got rid of all my change. She needed change. She was happy. And uh, I did my, my good deed for my local church. And I kept shopping. I did go look at the other stuff after. So this is so cool that I got this one. The Artist's Bible, Essential Reference for Artists in All Mediums. This is a nicer, newer book. Um, no, it's not nicer, but it is a very nice book. It's newer. And I really don't even know how much this book would have, what, what the cost of this book was. It doesn't say anywhere. But it, I love that it lays flat. This is great for a technique. Like they say, the artist's Bible, a central reference. Um, so it's a really good, as, a, as it says, reference book for art making in various mediums. Um, you know, watercolor. And this one is, there's a section on watercolors. Um, there's a section on oil paints. And there's another section on pastels. And... Then there's the acrylics. So basically the different kinds of mediums that artists paint with. So I'm super happy about this one. This is awesome little find. And this one is in French uh, and, I, and I took it anyway because I am able to read French. It's a book about composition and it's actually a workbook for um, students to learn about composition. 
So I snatched this up because I thought, oh, this is gonna be, this is gonna take me to the basics, back to the basics of composition, understanding composition. And they do some color theory in here as well. So I really like this. This is a, a great little refresher course. And because I need all the refreshing because it's been years since I've, I've, I've used any techniques I, I learned. Um, this one is the natural way to draw Nicolaides, more Nicolaides, the natural way to draw. Um, this is the soft cover version. Originally, this book was sold for $25.95 Canadian at Thomas Allen and Son. Uh, and so I, I don't even know if that store is still around. I don't think it is. And so it's a great, great book about drawing, the natural way to draw. Uh, it's just, it's apparently, it, it won awards. It did really well, this book. It's a great standard in um, the how-to of drawing, how to draw. So, yeah, I'm very happy. But remember, I only paid $8 for all of these books, so I can't complain. Oh, and this one is also in French. This one is Dessiné grâce au cerveau droit. And basically, this is the French translation of drawing uh, on the right side of the brain. Drawing on the right side of the brain by Betty Edwards. And I have that in English. I have the, the first... English version of this. It's so funny that I fe this French one was there because when I saw it, I was wondering, is it the same one? And yeah, I should have recognized Betty Edwards, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the same thing it's just in French. So, but I think I will gift this to someone. Now, <clears throat> interesting enough, well, there were also smaller versions of the Walter Foster books or a different kind of book from Walter Foster. And this one too came from Wallach's, which is a fine art store that we have in Canada. But this this is an old, <laughs> this is a very old tag. And so this might have been the beginning of the 2000s. And this one was 10.95 plus tax. Do I need to say that now? So this is a book on felt pen and watercolor so basically uh, making art with markers and uh, watercolors so there's a lot of fun in that here's another um this one's in french again this one is beat up this one was an old library book and it says here oh i I hope this was not a book that was never brought back to the library. Hmm. <laughs> okay, no. No, this book was retired from the shelves in 1997. So, it's it's older than that. Um, it's from the... <laughs> it's from the Gloucester Library outside of Ottawa. So, I'm, I'm outside of Ottawa, but that's still west of me. <laughs> So, yeah, see, this book was published in 1973, to give you an idea. So, it's Comment peindre à l'huile. So, it's how to uh, oil paint, how to paint with oils. And so, uh, I'm going to give this a look. See, check it out. See if there's anything. Oh, there's a lot of color mixing. Oh, that might be really helpful. Um, yeah. Oh, I like, oh, I like this whole section on the color mixing. So, I have a lot of stuff to look at. So, I'll be looking at this. And anything that I don't want to keep for myself, I will be passing on for sure. And another great book. Uh, this is like the Artist Bible. This was sold uh, for $16.95. And this, I don't know, re recognize this uh, tag here. This is some sort of bookstore. And but again, this is definitely an old book, an older book, by Marilyn Scott, uh, L'Acrylic. So, um, it's a book for beginning artists and experts uh, in acrylic painting. So this one is all about acrylic painting. And again, there's so many beautiful uh, illustrations and photographs 
for techniques. Um, well, yeah. So I like this, as you can tell. I oh, I want to look at all my books now. <laughs> um, and I'm not done yet. There was also this little pamphlet of hints, tips, and techniques for acrylic color. So I was like, well, I'm not going to leave this alone because maybe it'll just, you know, get forgotten and tossed. So, um, yeah, I got this. There might be something in there worth looking at. And there was uh, one of these Histoire de la, la Rousse. Um, this is in French again. It's about art history and uh, the La Rousse. It, it's from France. Um, and in Canada, these were $1.50 each. And I think these were part of, um, like, you would buy them, the, the issue every month, a different issue every month, and you could compile them in some sort of encyclopedia. And I, this was probably a sample because it's the first one. It says hebdomadaire, so it's like a, a monthly publication. So, and this one happens to be on prehistoric art. So... And I don't have anything on that, so that's interesting to have to learn about. Just get a little bit of a glimpse into uh, prehistoric art. So that, and then there was Fill Your Watercolors with Light and Color by Roland Roycraft. So again, another great book. And so it's a beautiful book. And this one, is this one more of an inspiration book? I haven't read these books, so I'm not sure. Uh, it's, yeah, I think it's a lot of inspiration, uh, how this artist uh, works. So, and all the experiences this artist went through in this style of watercolor, and his style of watercolor painting. So there's a lot of inspiration, but it's it's fun that it's all explained. Is to, he explains all his techniques in making each picture, which is really cool. So yeah. oh, I think this is a, a nice book. And in the in in with all the other art books, there was one lonely little coloring book. And this is a Dover coloring book, uh, and this one is the Goddesses coloring book, Marty Noble. So, and it's it's never been used. Um, it's not brand new, but it's never been used. So, it's just a nice Dover coloring book, uh, $3.99 USA. But I know in Canada, the Dover books are more expensive, especially when you buy them at Michael's. So, it's just a really nice coloring book, you know. I can't complain. I'm very happy. I did not have a goddess coloring book. Now I do. There was also some like tracing paper that they threw into my pile. And this uh, old envelope. Uh, they said, oh, here, there's some paper in here. You can have it. And <laughs> what they didn't know is that it's full of sketches from someone who was studying art in 1935. So there's like some beautiful um, sketches. And of course, it's from a beginner, you could tell, but uh, it's really neat, 1935. And there's, um, I, I recognize some of the sceneries that were drawn in here from local farms. So it's kind of neat. And last but not least is the Paragon Watercolors Made Easy, a complete beginner's guide, Miranda Fellows. And so I, I could tell you right away, this is, uh, either an English or Canadian book because it's they spell color O U R and um, yes it's from England it's a color O U R that's a dead giveaway for us Canadians and and English people <laughs> um, oh so it's a wonderful book all about learning to use and practice with watercolors well that's what it says a complete beginner's guide and it, it looks like it's quite thorough um, you get the history 
Helpful terms, tools and materials, water, the paper, the, oh, all, all the tools, the extenders, the retarders, the basic palette. Yep, all, all the fundamentals, basically. And, oh, there's a lot of information in here. This is a great book. This, this looks like a really great book. So, I think I struck gold uh, today in this uh, garage sale. And I wasn't going to look for books, and it just happened that uh, they had this pile of wonderful art books. So that is my uh, art book haul that I wanted to share with you, my used art books, by the way. And I hope you uh, enjoyed seeing my treasures. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please like, comment, share, and stay crafty, my friends. Bye.